Nice catch. All right, guys, welcome, welcome, welcome to another day with Cam the Man's 1K account challenge. Uh, I do appreciate you guys coming out today. I hopefully you guys can hear me clearly. Let me go ahead and turn this off. Uh, no problems with the stream today, which is nice to see. I think I figured out how to kind of stay away from the problems. Um, yeah, guys, so, you know, welcome to the new guys and welcome to the, um, you know, older troops that have been with me since I started with $1,000 September 1st. Uh, I do appreciate you guys coming out today. Please like and subscribe to my channel. Click the icon to alert you if I make new videos. I would really appreciate that, as always. Um, so, yeah, guys, you know, another good day. This is the ninth day in a row that I've had a green day. Sorry, guys, I haven't eaten all day, so I'm trying to go ahead and use it really quick. But, um, 
So yeah, I mean, this has been my ninth green day in a row, which has felt nice. Um, we are in a hot pocket of the market right now, so you know you need to make sure you're taking advantage of these times because they don't come too often. Um, that being said, guys, you know, there was a couple good plays today, and I missed a couple. And, you know, basically, <coughs> you know, OPHC was my main watch in the morning. I've done my scans, and, you know, it's happened before, guys. You know, ZX was another example where, you know, I just didn't get in low, but I didn't chase either. You know, I'm staying disciplined, and I didn't chase. That's the main thing. You know, a lot of people will say, oh, they missed it, and then get, you know, sad about it and enter in really high and it's you're allowing yourself too much risk well i missed zx and i was watching that at market open and i missed ophc and i was watching that at market open you know that that was my number one watch this morning and you know if you look uh cdac is gapping up after hours, it looks like which is a good sign um ophc so believe it or not guys you know i was um looking at this stock down here. And actually, I was watching it yesterday. Um, I like to see this perk that it, it was having. Um, let's see. I knew it went up to 285, and I knew this was a very low float. And what's in the pattern, guys? I'm not going to go away from the trend, you know? People always say now, it's like, well, you know, you're just, you know, playing these stocks because they're low float and easy to run. No, guys. Look around you. I mean, how many holds did we have today on these low floats? You know, it's, uh, OPHC went from 3 to 14, okay? IPDN halted from, uh, you know, 330 to 430. You know, MXC, 350, all the way up to 739, I believe, halted on the way up. You know, play the trend, guys. You know, I've been playing the trend since I started this account challenge. When shippers were running... I was playing them. When the low floats are running, I'm playing them. When the when the biopharmaceutical gap fills start to run, I'll be playing that too. I'm not going to go away from the where the easy money is because that's how you take advantage of the stock market, guys. You see things running, so do other people. Then people get fear of missing out, so guess what? Then they come into another stock that they feel is the same concept as the last one that just ran. What do you call that? Sympathy. Okay? And so, I'm not going to go away from these until they prove to me that they stop running. And today, they stopped running, and I wasn't playing them. You know, I didn't trade all day. You know, I was in AMPE for a swing, and I got out because, you know, guys, I was, I, I, I was a swing trader more than I was a momentum trader before I started this challenge. But now I've gotten so comfortable with momentum, I'm getting back in a swing. You know, I don't like... The fact that, you know, if I, if I go away from something for 10, 15 minutes, the feeling of just just bad news coming out or, you know, something that I can't control, um, you know, and sitting in stocks like that, you're just a sitting duck, you know, and, and it's fine, you know, I was good at swing trading when I did it, you know, and, and that's why I loved it because I was, you know, good at it, but, um, you know, I've been getting so comfortable with momentum, now sitting on swing, is it's a little tougher for me to just have a peace of mind, right, you know, I'm not stressed at all when I'm in stocks for momentum because I'm in control, you know, I can get out quickly. Um, but if I'm in swings, you know, I, I just love the chart, AMP. I mean, it broke out into 52-week highs. It's been forever since it finally got over that 140, 134 mark. You know, we're into the gap. Uh, you know, I just love that chart, and I wasn't going to go away from it, guys. Um, I did get out just because I didn't want to have the stress. Um, and the stress would have killed me, um, you know, because, you know, I know that I believe if I looked into it, you know, I was afraid that they were diluting, and I don't know, I just, I get into my mind, right? Um, I get into my mind, and, and, you know, I've been holding that for a couple of hours, and it's tough to sit there and have a peace of mind, so I said, hey, if I'm not going to have a peace of mind, I'm just going to get out, you know, so I got out, and that was the reasoning why. The chart still looks really good, and I would, I would be in that 110%, I just wanted a peace of mind, you know, and that's, you know... I know you guys are all dreamers, and, and you know, you guys dream big and all this, and that's great. Um, you know, and, and, I, and I don't blame you. You should. But, you know, I'm sure you guys all have the dreams of, you know, waking up and your account goes up, uh, you know, 500%, 1,000%, right? I mean, it's just one of those days where you just do it, right? 
Well, when you're in overnight, you have that. But, you know, it's... You know, I don't have after after, after hours or pre-market access. <coughs> so it's a risk for me. Um, and that's exactly why, you know, I didn't get into that stock um, for that purpose. You know, I didn't want to be stressing about it. Um, you know, I wasn't playing the trend, and I like to play the trend. So... Uh, you know, I steered away and I just, I just wanted a piece of mind. So it was as simple as that. Would I recommend it a hundred out of a hundred times? Of course. You know, I love that chart. Where did it close at? Let's see. You know, it's still in play, guys. This is the first day that it actually broke out. What am I talking about? Well, you could see this pattern that I was drawing. And then it just kind of consolidated. And then we started to get this move up a little bit. Now we're getting over the highs, okay? If you look, you could see this gap fill here. You know, the gap fill starts above, you know, 153, or you could say that it's, that's where the gap fill ends, either way, but the gap fill, and then it goes all the way to, to uh, 3. So, you know, I like to see that. I'll play that 100 out of 100 times. I just wanted a piece of mind, and if you guys are still in, uh, you know, it's not a bad thing, guys. You know, that's, that's a setup that I, you know, wouldn't be mad about, even kind of, if you guys are still in, you know, overnight. Um, but, yeah, so let's go ahead and... and you know, I had a couple of good trades, and then I started to realize, well, after I missed OPHC, you know, and I was in MXC, but I cut my losses too quickly, or I, I broke out even, I think, or just a little bit of profit. Uh, of course, then I see it go up, and it gets halted, and, uh, man, it was up like 75%. Um, a little out of sync today um, in general, so I didn't really push the button. You know, I was in AMPE, and then I believe I was in... Uh, I actually took a small position on C or uh, a decent sized position on C O L L or C O O L, you know, two hours before lunch, you know. But I I really missed my my entry and I was two minutes late. I went outside for a second. I came back and uh, you know I was trying to get in on this entry here somewhere in here, uh, and I was just waiting and waiting and I believe I got in somewhere in here, um, but that was my like. You know, where I, I didn't want to, you know, say, I didn't want to, you know, alert this by any means because it was a very risky play. And I just figured, you know, we were bouncing off the double bottom here at 305. And also, you know, this still hasn't ran, guys. And, but I don't want to go too, too into depth. I'll show you that, guys, in a little bit. But let's go ahead and start going over some of my trades today. Uh, if you're here, please like and subscribe to my channel. Click the icon to alert you if I make new videos. I would really appreciate that. That means a lot to me. Um, it really, it really, really does. Um, so let me just go ahead and uh, yeah. So please like and subscribe to my channel. Click the icon to alert you if I make new videos. I would really appreciate it. Um, I'm just gonna post this really quick. So you guys just have to wait one one split second here. Just give me a split second. Do do do. Do. But I hope you guys had a great day trading. I really do. Um, there was still a lot of plays out there for potential. Um, it definitely got slow, really slow after the first like hour, hour and a half, and it never really kind of heated back up. Just a lot of, just a lot of plays that you know would, you know would break out and then would uh, not follow through. So, um, you know that's that's one of those things where. You know, you, you, I don't like to do that. I don't like to play those things. I don't like to play those stocks. I don't like to play the trend if it's not going to follow through. And I wasn't noticing any follow through at all um, past like 8.30. So then I just stopped. I didn't trade anything because, you know, I'm not going to play anything that doesn't follow through and doesn't show some serious potential um, to continue through um, entry, right? So, um, okay, so let's see. Let's go ahead and go over my trades for the day. So I am down here, guys. So let's see. So I actually took an entry on COLL here at 320. Um, so my limit buy was at 320. And um, so my limit buy was at 320. And it filled me at 317. Okay. So there's my fills all at 317. And then I got filled some more there at 320. Okay, and I didn't see any follow through here, guys. So I sold quickly. Uh, let's see, so about ten minutes later, um, for a five cent gain, because um, there was no follow through, and I didn't like that. You know, I thought we were going to continue. You know, I thought this was a very good play, and I thought this was a very, um, 
you know, good thing to watch because this hasn't ran. And if you can look back, guys, this is a former runner. Look at these huge spikes. Goes from, you know, 3 to 751. Uh, let's go back even farther. You know, um, let's see. So, you know, it's got these big, you know, you can see them. 195 to 4. You know, 164 to 7. Um, you know, let's see. 259 to 482. You can see, you know, 4 to 630. This is a former runner, guys, and this hasn't ran yet, and this is a low float stock, and what's been the trend? Low float stocks that are former runners, and this is a low float stock that still hasn't ran in the price range of $4 and underneath to two sixty dollars and above, okay? Because if you notice, that's where all these stocks are running from. You know, OPHC, it started at uh, like two fifty, or no, sorry, it opened up at two eighty this morning, okay? Um, ZX, let's see, what was that? When it ran, I believe it was, uh, let's see. Well, that was a diff, that was a China. Uh, that wasn't a little, CHFS, okay. It ran from 370 to $24. Um, what else? Let's see, uh, can't think of any other runners, but, all right, off the hand. Uh, CADC, I believe that was like a, oops. Yeah, so that was a, Two, I believe it closed at 225, 250-ish. Okay, so right in that range, guys, that's where these have been running from. Okay, so why did I pick COL? Well, well, I keep going into the, <laughs> I keep going into my actual overnight, but, um, you know, so that was my small little entry, but it didn't fall through. I could have sold as high as 340, uh, 348, 345, 344, but. You know, I didn't, I didn't, I wanted to see follow through and I didn't get it. So I quickly got out. Um, CREG was a trade that I made just for a small position. Uh, I took a small, did I take a small loss on it? So I entered at 404. I, I, I sold at 406. Uh, I was looking for a potential squeeze play um, above $4. And it still could be on watch. I think it should be on watch. Um, this thing can squeeze, it's got a lot of shorts buried in it. It's got as high as 939 and from 129 to 939. Um, so, you know, that's where, you know, you can see I'm hoping for a mid, just like a, a mid candle break or, or a possible just to squeeze up. Um, but that was my reasoning there. Just kind of, that's why I took a small position. I, I was like two to one on that confidence rate. Uh, AMPE, I took this, uh, held it. So I bought it at 1243 and I then sold. AMPE a little bit later. Yeah, so if I, I bought it at bought it at uh, 12.43 and I sold at 3.08. So a couple hours later. Uh, I just didn't like I just didn't like sitting there and saying, okay, you know, I, I not just, I was, you know, sitting there like just worrying about it all the time, right? I didn't want that. So I just, peace of mind, I got out. Simple as that. Um, still looks good though. So, as you can see here, I took my first positioning here on COOL here. Where is it? COOL. Took my first positioning here at 317. You know, unfortunately, I was trying to get down into the 306 to 310 range, um, and and off the double bottom, but I couldn't get filled. Um, and, well, I, and I just looked away too. It was too soon. You know, I, I went outside for a second. And by the time I came back in, it spiked up to 323. So then I started watching it. There was a lot of interest. You know, I was going to take a, a about a 15% position size in that. Um, sorry, guys, one second. Um, so, yeah, so basically... Um, you know, I, I was looking at that as a double bottom. Um, and, you know, and I'll show you on a different chart. It looked good as well as a bullish doji candlestick. But, um, you know, and this still hadn't ran. You know, this is my probably my number one watch all day for the most part. Um, once once I spotted this because it still hadn't ran. Now, when it spiked up and spiked back down, I didn't like to see that. Um, but then I started watching it again and I saw the double bottom and that was a, a good, you know, entry. But I just missed it, and then I kept watching it here, and I took my entry at 317. Um, let's see. 
317, yeah, 241, so it's like right in here, yeah, right in here. Um, and I didn't want to alert this because it was very risky, and, you know, it just, it's too, too, too much risk for me to give out to you guys, but overall, you know, it looked good. But then I started seeing it perk, and you can see here, you know, it started to form, you know, off the double bottom, it started to form these higher lows patterns. Higher low pattern, higher low pattern, higher low pattern. And I really like to see the staircase to heaven pattern. Um, so once we got off this bottom here, you know, we, we touched bottom here at 308, spiked back up above this high day, 322, we're at 328 now. And this is right where I alerted, I believe, right in there. Um, that's where it looked like it was, you know, this was the, the highest potential, and I knew this could be a good overnight play. Um, and, you know, this was, I, I, and I think this will be the runner tomorrow because of the fact that this still hasn't ran. It's a former runner. This is one of the few that I could find that still hasn't ran. It's a former runner to low flow. Um, and it's a common name as well. So, you know, people start seeing this on the scans, and this could go, you know, this could get into a halt, just like it has been. You know, OPHC, I was, I was pissed off because I didn't get into that overnight, and it gapped up 30 cents, 40 cents. And I saw it at 282, then 285. I set my order for 285, and I didn't get filled, and it took off without me, and it went to 13 $14. So I didn't want that happening again, so I took, I was scanning all day trying to find the, the, the runner that I felt like was going to run in the AM. And this is the one that I chose out of my decision because this has the most potential. Um, this is right in the category of the 4 to 250 range. Uh, low float, former runner. Um, so, yes, I did take a pretty good size on this, expecting a nice fall through tomorrow, possibly even a gap up like CADC. Uh, CADC gapped up 100% overnight um, just because it was a low float stop, right? I mean, these things are just crazy. You know, they, they, they're absolutely crazy. And they're just in a mind of their own. Um, you know, I have a good size position in this. I am in, let's see, 9,298 shares. Um, that is definitely what my share size is. Um, and, you know, that being said, guys, you know, 9,298 shares at, uh, you know, a price of an average of, uh, like, roughly 323, because you can see, you know, you can see here, uh, you know, I took... An entry here 317 and I took another entry 318 and then I took my last entries at 328 um, because I just I really like to see that staircase to heaven um, and you know we'll see you know we'll see if this gaps up I do think this can this can run and this can run at least a hundred percent in my mind uh, former chart speaks to itself and this is just playing off sympathy to the rest um, this still hasn't ran either so I'm not picking a stock that has ran um, you know, OPHC really hadn't ran. It was the same concept too, guys. I mean, it had a spike, and then it just kind of consolidated, and then it started to perk up toward the end of the day. If you look at OPHC, guys, let me go ahead and show you here. Uh, it spiked here, so you can see the spike, you know, from 1 to, to 3986, but then it consolidated all day, right? Consolidated, consolidated, consolidated. Uh, it started to perk up here, you know, perk. And then, um, then we had the move, <laughs> the big move, just insane move. And that's what we're looking for tomorrow. You know, it, it sh I believe it will happen because this, ha this there's so many runners this morning. Then everybody left, but I think people will be back tomorrow to find at least one or two good runners. And I'm hoping that this is on their list. Um, this is the best looking to me that could spark that interest um, and get this kind of run. You know, we'll see tomorrow. But um, right now it's 375 after hours. You know, as you can see, my confidence is pretty high in this. And I won't usually get into these big positions, especially overnight. But, um, you know, I have a $30,000 position in this stock because I do feel like this can really, really go. Um, this, you know, when you start to see a big position like this, that's, that's how much my confidence is in it. You know, if I have a smaller position, my confidence is much less. But my confidence is very, very high and I feel like my risk reward is very, very high. So I got in a pretty, pretty big size position here with 9,298 shares, or 9,298 shares there. Um, you know, I could, I could see this really, really flying tomorrow. Um, you know, and that's when you see me have big positions, just think that I'm more confident in this stock than if I have a small position like CREG, 
when I only had like a seven thousand dollar position play or like an eight thousand dollar position, which is, you know, I don't know, fifteen percent, ten percent of my portfolio. Um, now we're talking, you know, forty percent of my portfolio right here. Um, that's how confident I am, right? You know, I do think this can run, and it could gap up big time after hours. We'll see. Um, but this is my this is out of all the stocks that I was scanning, this thing can can run the fastest and has a, low, a lower float and still hasn't ran yet. Um, those are my reasonings behind it. You know, this is a very rare time in the market right now, guys. I'm simply just buying stocks that have low floats because they're simply running CHFS, guys. I mean, come on. Low float, the lowest float, one of the lower floats, like 500K, something stupid like that, right? All the reason why it ran from 4 to 24 is there was a low float stock and people are buying because everybody else is, right? You're trying to always be ahead of the market, and that's where I'm at right now, you know. I, I want to be ahead of the market, right? So this stock, to me, gives me the best, the best ex example and best chances of being ahead of the market. I really do think this can fly tomorrow. Um, and, you know, CHFS, OPHC, this didn't have any news. CHFS, no news. All it is is a really, really microscopic float, and people are buying it. People are looking for these stocks. People are scanning overnight to find these stocks because these type of stocks can set you up possibly for the year. You know, you're talking, you know, if you're talking, you know, 8, 12, you know, you're talking 200 plus percent, 300 plus percent, 400 plus percent, 500 plus percent, those kind of moves can set you up for the year. You know, if this goes up even 250%, right, I will be up like roughly $75,000, right? That's someone's salary for the year. For And that's above average in one overnight play, okay? So that is the potential that you're looking for finding these stocks, okay? That is why I'm playing them. Until they show me otherwise, I'm not going to go anywhere because I'm going to be right. I'm going to be hovering all over the potential momentum. You know, this is what's running. I'm not going anywhere. Um, also, guys, if you guys are interested in seeing my uh, account challenge in real time, we're offering a, a free one-week trial. The link is now posted in the description there. Um, that's a free one-week trial. All you got to do is click it and then click the server and you'll be in. No sign up, no email, no nothing. Simple as clicking the link, just coming on in, and you'll get full access for one week to my account challenge. Um, my account challenge here, guys, is, you know, you can see it has all my explanations. Okay, guys, you can see that. All my explanations here, okay? You can see it very clearly, you know, and I, I, you guys will see, you know, my first alert of the day was at 6.31 a.m., one minute after the market opened, because this is what I was watching at the market open. You guys can see full proof. OPHC taken off. Missed my entry at open. That was one minute after market open. Okay? Even if I was in five minutes, it still would have been up 200%. This was my number. That was my number one watch, guys, right there. How did I know it was going to run? Well, I didn't know, but I took my, a very low float stock that still really hadn't ran, and I knew that this could fly quickly, and that's all I did is I saw, okay, the chart looked pretty decent. Um, you know, if we get over that 250 mark, we'll be looking good. And it opened up at 280, so that was a solid gap up. And then it just took off without me. It, it just flew, guys. It literally just flew. Um, let's see. Yeah, so, you know, one minute after market open, you could see, you know, that candlestick was right here. Right here. And it was only at 350. 330, you know. Um, it took off without me, but, you know, that was my first watch. Then I had long average... MXC 800K, which is a float, searching for the lowest floats because these are running. So it's under $4. And again, a low float. I got in, I believe, yeah, right there, in there somewhere. Took off, spiked up to 440, fell back down. Okay, I believe I sold in here somewhere. Um, and then once we got over that mark of 440, man, did it take off. Okay, two holds on the way up. We're talking 100, almost 100 percent, and it's as simple as that. You know, this market is making it easy for us, guys. I didn't catch this move because I didn't like to not see the fall through. But guess what? It bounced off four dollars and off it went. That's all I'm doing, guys. That's all I'm doing. 
I'm simply just trying to find low float stocks that haven't ran yet, okay? And that's as simple as that. And you know, I'm not a I'm not a rocket scientist, I'm not a genius. You know, I'm just playing the trend. And you know, you guys will see out average uh, or sorry, OPHC. Um, all out, no follow through. So I can see, you know, no follow through. I'm all out. Long IPDN. So that's another low flow, microscopic flow. Started to show some volume. Okay. Started to show some volume. And it was breaking above what was it, 350. Uh, former runner. Very low flow. Long 332. What am I doing? Oh, yeah. Long 332. Should have been right in here. And it flew up and as high as 429. I believe, yeah, it halted. It halted. But it halted and it didn't It didn't gap up, right? So it didn't gap up, okay? Um, that being said, guys, uh, you know, that was one of those things that it didn't look good after that point because usually these gap up and they continue. Well, this didn't really gap up. It kind of just sat there. Uh, and so I got out. Let's see, where did I sell? I got out average of 390s. Um, that was a solid trade for most of the room as well. Uh, YGE in 234, out 245. Uh, we had a spike. To 265 and that, but uh, I didn't like seeing this huge drop off, and that was showing me signs that this this wasn't this market was slowing down. Um, and then BSPM long 203 still is not brand big. This is a low flow. I think the market is ready for the next runner. This is at uh, an hour later. You can see I've been waiting for an hour. Um, so yes, yeah, so I can see that chat stuff tough. I'm gonna get to questions afterwards. Um, you know, you could an hour later because I was waiting for runners, and I thought this was going to be the next, but it wasn't. I was out two dollars. I lost three hundred dollars on that play. Um, in that point, it was looking like okay, I wasn't really seeing any follow through again. Uh, I told them out. I, I told you guys that I was in K O O L three eighteen. Uh, you know, this is a form. I, I really had high potential for this one. Um, I was out three twenty four average. Um, and then I said, things have dramatically slowed down. Cool was the best play that I had seen all day, and we still did not follow through. I'm going to wait until we start seeing things follow through again. Craig, long, small position, hence small position, no follow through. Uh, hence a small position because nothing was following through. And two positions open, clearly stated in it. I love to see that chart. There's a swing. Craig, I was out. Amp, I explained that I was out. And then OPHC, this is my cool long overnight uh, play you can see here my final day recap that's how it is every day um, so you know check out that link there um, if you guys are looking for the scanner that that I use and that we use as a chat it's in the uh, description below um, you can sign up for a free one-on-one -on -one lesson so if you sign up for the premium package or even the regular package they will give you a free one-on-one -on -one, um, for an hour to have to set it up for it for you it's very helpful. I would highly recommend it. Um, but like I say, without the scanners, I, I don't. I'm not able to trade. There's just no way. Um, there's just no way. Let's see what KOL is doing. Not much. Just sitting pretty. That's fine. Um, okay. So now we'll go ahead and get into some of your questions. You guys have any questions for me today? Now is the time. So for ERs, I look at ERs if they're positive. I will look at for a potential dip buy. Um, SORL. So I probably would have been in here somewhere, and it didn't break above. 
I will potentially do that. Hopefully that helps. Yeah, if you guys are interested in that free trial, um, go ahead and click above. It's it's in that link. It's the link. Or I'll post it in there again to see. That is the free trial right there. And then, and then the scanner. I can show you guys the scanner really quick. So the scanner is right here, guys. This is the scanner that I use. If you sign up for the subscription, Shmoney, what's up, man? Good to see you in here. Um, if you sign up for the subscription, you will get a free one-on-one. -on -one. Um, you can sign up for a free one-on-one -on -one to help you set it up, understand the scanner. They'll help you uh, build a groove in the scanner. Um, they'll help you really understand how to how to how to do it on how to make the scanner, how to, uh, you know, build the scanner. We do sell scanner settings as well. Um, but yeah, that's that's what I use right there. That's what the chat uses on a daily basis. Can you day trade your stock without... Yes, you can. Yes, you can, Kyle. That's the key. You know, I like you stock. You know, I think eventually I'm going to eventually get off of you stock. But I like you stock because, you know... If I were to buy as many shares, guys, especially on these low floats, I'd run the price up so high, and, you know, it would be tough for me to get filled at a decent entry, but with you stock, you know, peer-to-peer -peer like this, you know, you, you might get limited liquidity, but at least you're not getting filled, you know, from, I don't know, 307 to 375, I don't know, but it's really nice. It's also... Um, there's no PDT no matter how much capital you have, and it's only a dollar buy and a dollar sell. Archon. Well, it can spike. You can see that. I mean, it goes from one. Yeah, it can spike. Um, I just, I just, I'm not interested in that. Not at all. It's broken under support there at 147, right there. Um, you know, it could run, but nothing special. I mean, unless it starts to form up or some type of chart pattern or I get positive news, um, not really too interested because it broke under support right here. Undemand. Yes, it has no PDT. You have to feel it out, you know, and that just takes time. You have to understand how stocks run. It's a good question. You know, I can't predict that, but I can just know how stocks run and I know how they work. And, you know, that just comes from experience. How does, how does the stocks react? How does the stocks run? And, you know, I can feel the volume and I, I I'm, you know, I do this 24-7, guys, you know. I'm looking at the screen all day. You know, I'm making a watch list. You know, you name it. I'm always around stock. So I understand, you know, the scanner in the background, you know, I'm always understanding how certain things move. And that just comes with, the, like, you're almost like, you're almost the stock. You know, you're, you are you are the stock. You know, you breathe the stock. You feel the stock. You know, you know how it runs. You know how volume's coming in. You know, that's how I can tell. You know, I'm never, I'm not always right, but I do the best that I can with what I have. So, and I'm, I can't predict it all the time, but I try my best. But... You know, no one can really tell that definitively. Yes, for the most part, they're always limit buy, and then and then market sell. Because on new stock, I don't like not knowing if I'm going to get filled, so I just guarantee it. For the market, is guaranteed. Yeah, EGLT can run. 
you know. It's very, very oversold. Do I short banks? No. I don't short at all, really. Um, let me go ahead and also show you this chart. I, I forgot about this. Let me go ahead and show you. Good heat. Yep, here it is right here. Cyrus couldn't have said it any better. Play the trend, low flows, and low flow China stock. They are running. You should be in that crowd looking for an entry to scalp or for a grind. As soon as you buy, if you put a sell, you won't get stuck holding if it rips. Couldn't have said that any better. Okay. So this this will and this is why another reason why I chose cool overnight, because I saw this beautiful hammer candlestick. You can see it right here. You know, look at this look at this beautiful hammer candlestick off the three dollar support, which is also tested here and here. You know, you can see. For the most part, it always bounces off three dollars and runs up. Bounces off three dollars and runs up. Huge, that's insane. Bounces off three dollars and we're starting to run up again. And now we're in the time of market where this could go to nine dollars, twelve dollars. It wouldn't be out of the realm. Okay, it would not be out of the realm right now only. Only right now. I will not say that any other time in the entire my entire life. Right now, the possibility is endless. Well, not endless, but you know, you could see this can go. You know, up two, three, four hundred percent, and I would believe it because I'm seeing it in front of my eyes. Things go up four, five, six hundred percent. Um, you know, it's not out of the realm of possibilities. Now, will it happen? Chances are, more often than not, probably not. But in this type of market, chances are, you know, at least a hundred percent more often than not. Okay, if you're if you're in these low float stocks, or maybe fifty percent, we'll go with. You know, because these things are going bananas. So I'm trying to get, you know, I'm trying to basically put myself in a position where I'm in before we get the run up tomorrow. Okay? And that's why I'm in early. And if we don't get the run up, we don't get it. Okay? But if we do, you know, you guys will be, you know, we'll be sitting pretty and we'll be watching this thing go to, you know, five, six, seven, eight, ten. Who knows tomorrow? I can't predict that. But I'll be I'll be watching, and if we get that first hold in the morning, and, and and KOL is the first hold of the morning, you know that's that's gonna set off some big buys for the next unhold, because people haven't seen it day in and day out. So you know I'm sitting pretty, you know we should be sitting pretty, and I'm trying to predict the future. I can't predict the future, but I could try my best to predict the future, and that's what I'm trying to do for for myself, for everyone else. Um, so. You know, that's why I think this can potentially run big tomorrow. Um, do you do live trading on YouTube? No, I do not. Um, but I will be getting them. I, I'm getting, I'm, I got to do this right after I get off. I went to Fred Meyer yesterday, and I didn't like any of the mics that were in there, so I'm going to go on Amazon. Do you guys have any ideas for a, a great, great headset that I should use for a solid investment? I heard about the Apple Pods that work pretty well. Um, I, need a, I, I need a nice headset. Um, so I would appreciate that if any of you guys had any good ideas. Okay. No, on demand, there is no disadvantage in my mind to having multiple brokerage. There's only more of an advantage because then you can have long, you can have a long brokerage, a short brokerage, you know, your swing trading brokerage, you know, whatever you need. So I don't really see too much disadvantage to having multiple brokers. All right, yeah, I already said Archon. I don't really like. I wouldn't touch it. Um, Donald Trump. Too late to get him cool enough. Um, you know, it's, it's, you know, up there, you know, I don't know, it, it, a solid entry would have been down in here, um, getting up in here, especially after hours is tough, you know, I, it's so tough to say, you know, at that point, um, I'm back and forth on that, to be honest, you know, because, like I said, I can't ensure this will run tomorrow, um, but I'm just trying to be ahead. I think we are ahead, but there is no guarantee. So it really comes down to basing your, your risk, right? Are you able to base your risk off of 305, you know, or even 330? You know, you have to base your risk off of something. So, you know, if it depends on your comfortability of risk, okay? That's what it comes down to. Um, so hopefully that helps. Yeah, so I'm going to be on voice and Discord. Um... I will be on voice and Discord. Yes, I will be. Um, but I need to get a mic first. So I need to get a mic first. Um, 
and I'm, I'm looking to be go on, on voice next week. Um, you know, I might not be active because when I'm trading tough, but or you know, I might be talking all the time, but I, I want to explain more often my setups, and it's it's so hard to type everything out, guys, on a daily basis. You know, it's 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 frustrating. Um, but you know, so that's kind of where I'm at with that. Um, I'm looking at possibly, um, you know, or not possibly, but I will be getting a mic within the next week here. Um, so hopefully that Razer Manowar is a great headset. So Donald, um, I haven't decided if I want to stop at a hundred thousand or if I want to try and hit one million. Um, I think eventually, I think I'm going to try and hit one million, and then once I get to one million, I will restart probably most likely eventually. It'll be here. Um, you know, it's not a hundred percent. I haven't. I'm still working on that through this stream. You know, I, I need to be able to be 100% on that before I can, you know, officially say it, but. Exactly, yeah. And I can explain what I'm looking at and all that stuff. So, any other questions today, guys? Gosh, some people will tell me that, and, you know, it is tough, I mean, you know, you only get a couple of opportunities before they don't follow through, right? Um, so, you know, you, if you feel like you're getting in too high, then don't, don't get in, you know? There's a reason why I give my entry, because I don't want you guys chasing it. If you can't, you know, get a decent entry... There is no reason to get in. So my advice is just if you feel like you're 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 gonna be in too high, then don't don't get in. That's my advice. Bitcoin, that's a tough one. I'm not necessarily fully educated on that. I will tell you, I was trying to buy some down at the 5,000 mark um, when I saw that crash down to 54, 5,300. But of course, it recovers so dang fast, I got no entry on it. Um, so, it is unfortunate, but, you know, I don't know, man. The crypto world could be the up and coming thing, I can't tell you. But I do want to make sure. That, you know, if, if it is the up and coming, that I at least have a piece of it in an investment position. Um, so, I don't want to miss out on it. And I'm okay with losing a little bit if that's what happens. But I see a lot more upside than downside for right now, in my opinion. Um, but I still am dabbling in the crypto world. I do have Coinbase, but I have to, you know, and just... Having money that's not very liquid, I heard it's not very liquid and it's not easy to exchange in the USD very quickly. So that's kind of um, discomforting. Um, I don't know, and it's just it's just weird to me. But yeah. Brian. If you're looking for a biopharmaceutical, my best stock right now that I've been watching is AMP. AMP. That's my my highest risk reward stock. That's cool, man. That's really cool. 
Good for you, man. Hopefully you got in early, too. Alright guys, that's really all I have. Um, yeah, keep it on watch. If you guys have any other questions, you can let me know now. Please like and subscribe to my channel. Click the icon to alert you if I make new videos. I would really appreciate that. Um, stuff tough. This is my full-time job. My business is, is a century, so... This definitely is my full-time job. So, no, I I don't set stop losses, but I would recommend it, especially if you are new. Um, if you're new, having multiple or having a stop loss is, is highly, highly recommended. If you're more experienced, I just have a mental stop because I know my discipline and I know my risk-reward and I need to be ready at all times. So, um... I do not use a stop necessarily, but what I recommend it highly, especially if you're new. There is no disadvantage to have multiple brokers. On this account challenge, the most I ever made was $22,400 roughly, and that was yesterday. Today I was only up. When I say only, that's not what I mean. <laughs> um, I mean that... I was up roughly 11.7 thousand today. Because I closed at 68 yesterday, so. Wait. No. That's gotta be more. So, no. No, I'm not even up that. Sorry. What am I kidding? I closed at 68 yesterday. And I'm up, so I'm up $9,785, roughly. Sorry, my math's off. Something tells me I know who that is. Get out of here, man. Get out of here. PC, P, is it peace and love? I know who you are. I know who you are. You don't fool me. Yeah, see, there he is. Peace and love. <laughs> let me borrow you. Every day, let me borrow seven. Uh, that's funny. That is funny. My favorite in the chat room, though, is definitely um, Busy Be Gone. Where is he? <laughs> He always makes me laugh. I woke up this morning, started doing my scans, and I got in chat, and he always makes me laugh, man. It's a, it's a hoot. Um, is he in here? Ah. He has his, uh, he has his emoji, or his uh, profile pic in here. Has awesome powers. And he goes, yeah, baby, yeah. It's great. Yeah, baby, yeah. And then the day before, he was like Jim Carrey. I can't remember what he said, but it's just a good way to wake up in the morning. We have a great chat, guys. Very friendly. Very uh, down-to-earth people. I think I just want a headset, but maybe not. Yeah, eh. Yeah, I want a headset.
Do you guys have any recommendations for headsets? Please write that. Please send me a link in the comment section below. I'd appreciate that, guys. Please send me a link in the comment section below. Yeah, just send me the link in the comment section below for any type of nice headset that you'd recommend, and I'll probably make my purchase late tonight. So if any of you guys post in the comment section below with the link of the um, with the link of the uh, headset, or even just the wording, you can just type it out as well. I appreciate that, guys. All right, guys, that's really all I had today. It sounds like questions are kind of wrapping up. I do really appreciate you guys showing out today. Please like and subscribe to my channel. Click the icon to alert you if I make new videos. I'm glad to have you guys here today. If you guys have any other questions, please feel free to message me. I am going to catch up with all your guys' messages now. Um, you guys sent me about 20 that I didn't get to this morning. I clicked them all because they were getting in my way, but I'm going to now go into them and start responding to all of them. So I do appreciate you guys' time. Um, you know, post it in the comment section. Or maybe just type the words out. Either way. Either way. Um, but I do appreciate you guys coming out today. Um, and I'll see you guys tomorrow, okay? So uh, stay green, stay profitable, stay safe, team. And as always, go Hawks and cheers, guys.